Hey, what's up? Um, so, if you think about it, when you do the cross symbol, you Father, Son, Holy Spirit, um, it's it represents something. It, in John ten thirty, it says, "I and my Father are one." So, the Father and the Son is a single line. So it's two different parts. It's above and below, i.e. when he's in heaven and when he's in earth. Um, and then the Holy Spirit is the line. The Holy Spirit is the medium uh, between God in heaven and God on earth. So through the Holy Spirit, Jesus came down. So just think about that when you do the cross. No one told me this. I just kind of, I'm thinking about stuff lately. So the Father and the Son is one single line and the Holy Spirit is a separate line totally because it, it is the medium that connects the top with the bottom, heaven and earth. Um, but anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting and could be relevant. Um, I am finally on the book of Acts. I read the five books of Moses and the four Gospels. Now I'm on the book of Acts. And to be honest, this is one of the books that I've been waiting to read because I mean, one of the primary reasons I've been reading the Bible is not only because of the Groxt and my Nietzsche theories, but because of Philip K. Dick. He said Philip K. Dick's whole exegesis is about him channeling the Bible and having a crazy-ass spiritual experience afterwards. Um, the book of Acts is essentially the same exact story as Philip K. Dick's book, Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said. And Philip K. Dick had not even read the book of Acts while he was writing Flow My Tears. And then someone just randomly asked him, hey, have you read the book of Acts? Because it's the same thing. You might you might recognize some of these ideas that I'm talking about if you've seen Waking Life. Because um, they talk about it in there. So, <laughs> the Bible is, is, is much bigger than a couple rednecks drinking beer, toting guns, trying to ban abortion. The Bible is a huge... It, it's a huge metaphor. It's a huge code. There's something... There's some grand overall archetype in there that we keep reliving. And Philip K. Dick wrote Flow My Tears, the policeman said, because he believes we're still in the time of the book of Acts and just uh, history and st stuff just appears to have moved forward. I mean, it's very interesting, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I got a third Bible, of course. I got a little pocket size one. Um, it was literally six, six ninety nine. 699 edition. Um, there's the barcode backwards, if you can read backwards. Oh yeah, and I got the iPhone 5C, i.e. cheap. It was only 99 bucks, and it's pretty awesome. And it's made of plastic. No, None of that fingerprint recognition stuff on mine, thank God. As if the phones would just keep it. But I mean, hey, if you got the 5S, good for you. Uh, but the 5C is good enough for me. Um, and it's, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully the picture is a little more HD looking. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just kind of getting into the Bible more, reading it before I judge it, unlike, unlike most liberals and Jews. And I mean, I was raised Jewish. We weren't even taught to even look at the New Testament, you know? I mean, because it, it, if your religion is 100%, if you're totally for your religion 100%, you would want to read other religions. Okay, and see how they pertain to yours or how they are wrong. And because you knew yours was right, it's okay to read something wrong. But when I read the book of Mark and the book of Luke and John, I agreed with so much more than I thought I would. I mean, honestly, Jesus was just literally saying, don't go to public to pray. Do it in secret because the Jews are doing it in public and davening because they want to seem like they're doing something to other people. Where spirituality and God should only be for you and you alone. So I loved when Jesus said, pray in secret. And it's ironic because a lot of Christians just kind of explode their beliefs on everyone else, which is the opposite of what Jesus taught. Okay? Um, but anyway, good stuff. Uh, the Grox favorited my last video because there's just so much evidence in there. And y'all should check it out too if you haven't already. Um, it's just all the V's and all the Illuminati symbolism books, magazines, movies, um, anywhere that there's some, anywhere that is in public, they have control over it. So it's, <laughs> you got to wonder why there's so much corruption nowadays. And this NWO Bible deception stuff explains all of it. 
Okay, it explains everything. It's not just, oh, they just want money and power to enslave you so they can have more money and power. They know money is fake. Okay, they know they created it out of thin air. It's not about money. Okay, it's some, there's something spiritual going on. So, read up, um, but also live it up. Peace.